Their mission was to enter a contaminated cell and conduct tests in the former nuclear fuel reprocessing center, a mission that required protective clothing and a separate oxygen supply to avoid breathing in radioactive dust. Check that upper valve. Is that charged? Is that line charged? If this has the appearance of a NASA space flight, it is because there are some similarities here. 9.58 with the door was open. At a console complete with radio communication and a TV monitor, Westinghouse engineers followed every step taken by the men inside the cell. And when you're ready for that water in there, let me know, would you? The hoses were used to keep the contaminated dust and dirt from becoming airborne. This was the cell where uranium was extracted from dissolved nuclear fuel rods. This is the first cell that we have entered, uh, which has uh, previously been unoccupied for many years. And as such, we're gaining valuable data on the techniques which will be effective here at uh, decontaminating this facility. While humans were able to probe around this area, only robots were allowed in this section of the plant. You are looking at the first pictures ever made public of the underground carbon steel tank holding 600,000 gallons of high-level radioactive waste, a tank many feared was deteriorating. We found that the tank uh, was not deteriorating. In fact, uh, uh, it was in better condition than the engineers had uh, hoped for. The next step will be to take a sample of the radioactive liquid inside the tank as the $500 million, 10 to 15 year cleanup project inches its way toward completion. Rich Newberg, News 4, West Valley.